Well, Novak, uh, job well done in the end, but you were, you were pushed to the limits uh, today by a, a guy who's obviously uh, built a good standing in the game. He's been inside the top 30. He plays a pretty dynamic brand of tennis. Uh, how did that feel for you out here today? Very tough match. Um, also difficult conditions. While we had sun on the court, it was very, very warm and uh, a lot of long rallies. Um, I want to I wanna give a hand to, to Francis again for, for a great fight. It was a fantastic match on his, on his part. The first challenge is always you know, to get through the first week of a slam. I mean, do you like sort of having those sort of matches along the journey where it just gets you right into the yeah. groove of a Grand Slam where you've just got to beat high caliber opponents and you've you know, done it so many times lifting Grand Slam trophies? Well, if I have to choose, obviously I would like to have these kind of matches in the, in the opening week, but uh, you know, uh, the matches are only going to get tougher. You know, with higher seeds, uh, opponents uh, each round progressing in the tournament. So it's not the first time that I'm in this kind of um, situation. I, I know how to tell, how to handle these kind of circumstances. But at the same time, um, you know, I was fortunate to get through the third set today. It was really anybody's game. Francis played great, served very well. It was, I think, 23 aces on his end, 26 on mine. I saw the stats. I mean, that's uh, probably the most aces that I. I personally served to, to someone and that someone served to me, you know, in a long time. So, um, yeah, just, just a high quality tennis. He, he gave it all um, as unfortunate uh, warning that uh, took away the first serve from him and 30 all when I broke his serve. Um, you know, these kind of uh, things are, uh, uh, you know, just unlucky, you know, because uh, he, he, deserved, he deserved to have a first serve and just to to play it out all the way through, but uh, it is what it is. You know, I wish him all the best and uh, hopefully he can have a great year. No, well said. I've just got one more for you and I'll, I'll let you go. This court, you've had phenomenal success. What is, it, what is it about this court, coming back to Melbourne every year, Novak? I mean, you are the king of this court and absolutely the man to beat and someone's got to find a way to beat you. Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's probably... Um, you know, various things that affect my, my positive performance here at the, at the Rod Laver Arena. Uh, over the years, you know, I just, I guess when you, when you win a lot uh, on a certain court, you, you, you feel more comfortable and confident coming each year uh, to this court. Uh, I mean, it, 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 feels, it feels right, you know, it feels uh, like my living room, to be honest. You know, I feel very comfortable playing here. Um, yeah, it's only that I'm not I'm not sitting in the couch in my living room, kind of running all over the place. Um, I think the surface has changed over the years. Uh, to be honest, this is probably the quickest um, speed of the court that I have uh, ever played on here in Rod Laver Arena in the last 15 years. So, I mean, obviously, you need a big surf. If you have a big surf, it helps. If you don't, it doesn't help. Then, then you have to grind and, and, and try to try to win with the battle. Well, you found a way more often than not right across your career. You did again today, and we look forward to Thank seeing you. you continue the journey. Thank the world number much. one defending champion, Novak Djokovic.